I want to say categorically that no governor, no governor that we gave tickets can harass us out of office. No governor, no matter how highly placed, will come and with a fiat dissolve the National Working Committee, dissolve state councils, dissolve local government councils, dissolve world executive, even military governments <laughs> don't behave that way. And so I must state categorically that that mandate that was given to us on the March, on March 27th, the leadership of this party, under my leadership, will defend it. And I want to assure you that we will reclaim it and we will be here and produce the next president of it. We have not yanked off Ale Suti and Peter Ori. We have simply said that the doors of the party are open to others, which is democratic. If you look at section 221 and section 222 of the 1999 constitution, it makes it clear that every political party is open to all Nigerians. The Labour Party constitution is equally clear that you cannot deprive people who may be interested in running for an elective office in the party. And so what we have done simply is to open the window to accommodate more people. You will agree with me that democracy is about number. The more, the merrier. The more people we have, the better for the party and for even the candidates themselves. Because if you emerge from a competitive process, it gives you more confidence and it shows that you are the best. And Labour Party have always maintained that why APC and PDP have failed is because they suppress competition and skew their primaries towards one individual. And we feel that since our party is different, we should not be seen in behaving in the same way. And that's why we have simply thrown the party open for all and sundry. Those who seek to tear us apart with backroom deals and illegal meetings must not be allowed to do so. What message does it send to Nigerians when meetings meant to divide us are held in Abia State, a state that has become a symbol of resilience at a time when this nation is struggling with ethnic divisions? Such actions do not promote unity they deepen the wounds of distrust. Nigerians are watching and they will not be silent. I call on all true members of Labour Party to stand firm. This is not the time for betrayal. It is the time for solidarity. We must reject the actions of those who for their own interests seek to weaken us seek to divide the party, seeks, seeks to share it and divide it in piecemeal. I remain committed to leading this party in the right direction. We have much work to do. The beautiful ones are not yet born in Nigeria. But they will be born through our collective efforts we must nurture this party, for it is the only true vessel that can deliver the change Nigeria so desperately needs. As for this meeting, yes, they were all invited uh, for the meeting. Uh, it is one thing to invite people for the meeting. It's for another thing for them to attend the meeting. So I must make it clear that they were all invited for the meeting. All those that were we're supposed to be here, are, are here, and you will agree with me that we have formed quorum in this meeting. Um, all members of the National Working Committee are here, except for two that have an assignment outside uh, Nigeria. 
um, state chairmen are here, state secretaries are here, other stakeholders are equally here. And so the meeting is well constituted. A quorum for any meeting, as per the provision of the constitution, is one third of those who are supposed to be present in that meeting. And so we are very comfortable with this meeting. And uh, we are even more than two thirds in attendance. So this meeting uh, is well constituted, and uh, we are happy that we are here today. As to being afraid uh, whether we we'll lose. Um, um, the governor of Abia State and the um, BO. It's a, like I said, the party is, is dynamic. Uh, like I said, this process is an evolutionary period for the party. Uh, the party is growing and is still growing. And we believe that all of this um, will make the party stronger and will make it uh, better. I must state here clearly. Uh, in respect of the discipline that we talked about. The party is supreme. And every member of the party is supposed to live and play by the rules of the party. Nigeria is in comatose. Nigeria is in trouble because we don't obey rules. Because we have a lot of... There is no discipline, financial discipline, attitudinal discipline, and what not in the country. And that's why we are where we are today. And if we are saying that Labour Party will make the difference, we are determined to really and truly make that difference. And that difference must start from us, must start from the way we conduct ourselves as a party and as members of the party. As to what kind of disciplinary measures that we we'll take, uh, I think it is too premature uh, for us to be answering this question. The constitution of the party is clear. Uh, like we said, we already have this study committee in place. Uh, it will be prejudicial for me. Uh, it will be unprofessional for me. And will not be good for me as a leader uh, to preempt whatever uh, decision other people may want to take or the organs of the party may want to take. Uh, and so uh, for me, uh, I feel that that. Um, that is still too premature. Uh, the recent, re the unfolding events will determine the decision that the party will take. We've seen instances where political actors quarrel, and in the next moment, they put their differences aside and work together as one family. And therefore, uh, for me, um, as we move towards the bridge, We'll definitely cross the bridge when we get to that bridge.